Hey guys, this is Callus for the Pokemon Online YouTube channel, here to bring you the second ever Advanced Battle of the Week. Uh, this one is going to feature M-Dragon yet again. I don't think he needs much of an introduction. Absolutely one of the top two or three advanced players in the world, if not top two or three overall players in the world. And right behind him is the guy that you voted for to see play. Uh, that's none other than Crashing Boombang, and again, you guys voted for him, so you clearly know who he is. He's a good player, and he's pretty unconventional, so he might bring some good stuff to the table. I am very excited to be back on the channel, and I'm going to get to the battle right now. So, I'm Dragon on top, Crashing Boombang on bottom, T-Tar against Gross. T-Tar is definitely going to switch here, doesn't want to take a Meteor Mash. Uh, Pert's definitely one of the better Gross counters, takes 34%, implying that it's not Choice Bandit, however... For whatever reason, the perk does not gain leftovers. Uh, Metagross shows Hidden Power Grass. I think one of the reasons the perk could not be gaining leftovers, uh, it must have a Pinch Berry. It could be an Endeavor Swamp Bird. It could also just be subbing down to like a Pattaya or maybe even a Lychee Berry if it's physical. But it almost always has leftovers. That's an unconventional set. But uh, not to get too far behind, there's a Charizard from Crash and Boom Bang that also doesn't gain leftovers. Uh, Dragonite's going to dance up on T-Tar here. It might have Earthquake, which is going to be really, really tight. T-Tar takes it and lives at 2%. That was very, very close. And it surprises the Dragonite with Ice Beam, which takes it down. Granted, Rock Slide would have been pretty close. Wow. The follow-up from M-Dragon is Metagross, and not only does the T-Tar have Fire Blast, but it also crits, and the Metagross goes down. M-Dragon also has a Mence, so I really think that switching in Metagross there is a mistake. The Mence is just going to easily take it down, being faster and hitting it with Hidden Power. So yeah, I think M-Dragon really threw away the Metagross for free there. I can't agree with that. But uh, anyhow, 5-4 situation, favoring Crashing Boom Bang. Obviously, Mence does not want to take an Ice Beam here. Jinx is going to be aware that there's a switch and opt to sub up. So... Uh, knowing this, the Jinx is probably going to go for a lovely kiss here. It's got a free opportunity to do so. There is the lovely hit, uh, lovely kiss. It's going to connect. The Gyarados is going to fall asleep. It's going to be forced out unless it is Sleep Talk, which most of them do not. Jinx is going to get a free opportunity to Calm Mind here. and We'll see if M-Dragon has a wall. And he does indeed. He's got one of the best Jinx walls in Snorlax. Uh, I don't think Jinx is going to do a lot here. Might even switch out from behind the Substitute because Ice Beam will really do that little because of Thick Fat. Yeah, switches out from behind the sub, goes to Celebi, and the Lax begins to curse up. Uh, I'm going to assume that he's got Leech Seed, otherwise I can't see a good reason to make this switch. Maybe Parish Song will force him out, but I think Leech Seed's more possible, yep. Yeah. Uh, that is what happens, here's Body Slam, going to do 44%, but not Paralyze. We'll see if M-Dragon wants to stick in here, I think if I were him, I would not. And he agrees, he goes to Mens. Celebi, see if he goes to Recover here. Nope, actually just attacks, goes for Psychic, so we'll see if the M-Dragon Mence has leftovers or not, which it does. So it's probably a Dragon Dance Salamence. And speak of the devil, there is Dragon Dance, so we'll see what Celebi wants to do about that, gonna go for Leech Seed. Uh, however, I'm not sure that at this low health it's gonna be able to live a plus one hidden power. If it does, it'll be very close. Uh, Swampert's gonna come in, don't think I agree with that. Yeah, gonna go straight down to that plus one hidden power, so 4-4 four, four game. Now Selby comes back in, going to be a little higher than last time because of Leech Seed, but don't know that it's going to be able to live here. If it does, it's going to be really close. Wow, really close. It's going to be 1%, so that's the second time this game that a Crashing Boom Bang Poke has lived at 1% or 2%. Psychic finishes it off, and then Sandstorm takes down the Selby, going to leave us in a 3-3 situation. Haven't seen anything from Crashing Boom Bang up until now that deals with the Lax, but there's a damn good one, a Heracross. So there's Intimidate from Gyra, but Heracross uses Swords Dance. It's now plus one attack. That could be a big problem for M-Dragon. I'm not seeing a good answer. There's Megahorn, does 57%. Gotta easily kill the Gyra if it doesn't wake up, which it doesn't. Now M-Dragon's banking completely on a Megahorn miss. Otherwise, this Gyra's done. Megahorn does miss. Does Gyra wake? It does. There's Hidden Power, and Heracross goes down. That was an unbelievable turn of events. It woke up at exactly the right time after there was a miss. So now it's up to what the Jinx wants to do. Does he go straight for Lovely Kiss, or does he just attack? Goes straight for the attack, and theme of the battle, the Gyarados lives at 1% and takes the Jinx down. And I think that's Lights Out. 
Uh, Sandstorm finishes off the Gyra. Charizard's the last poke from Crash and Boom Bang, and I just don't see it dealing with Charizard here. There's Sunny Day removing the Sandstorm. That's a good start, but I don't think it's enough. Body Slim is 50%, doesn't para, leaves it at exactly 20, 25%, letting it sub up for Pattaya, but the t is just going to be able to come in here and finish it off with the ability, Sandstream, even if nothing ever attacks again, there's nothing Charizard can do. Uh, here is the Fire Attack, Fire Blast, which is going to do 59%, but it just doesn't kill. And even if it had, the Sandstorm would still finish it off, so that's going to be the ball game. Uh, that was a quick one, only 24 turns, but that was a wild game. Uh, three different times, something left, uh, lived with 2% or less. Yeah, I thought that was really good. The final score is going to be 2 nothing for M-Dragon. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this battle, you absolutely have to subscribe to the Pokemon Online YouTube channel if you've not already done so. Use that like button and subscribe. Uh, as for me, I do have my own channel. You're going to find a link to that below. I only narrate Gen 3, but I've got a lot of content. If you're a Gen 3 fan, definitely check out my channel as well. YouTube.com slash Callus Narrates. Please subscribe to that if you like what you see. This is Callus, signing out.